Hey everyone, Krista Seiden from KS Digital here, and I wanted to give you a few quick updates to GA4 that have happened over the past year or so that I think are really great additions to help us all make the most of Google Analytics 4. So the first one, if we are looking here in GA4, is actually the addition of the landing page report. You can find it under Engagement, Landing Page. Now, landing page wasn't available as an out-of-the-box uh, report when Google Analytics 4 first launched, but uh, sometime over a year ago, the Dimension launched in Google Analytics 4, and then late last year, they actually added this report first class in the reporting UI. So now you can report on all of your landing page data right here without having to create a custom report yourself. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to open almost any report in the reporting UI in Explore so that you can dive deeper into your analysis. So let's look at a different report. For example, the acquisition traffic acquisition report. This is where you're going to understand your campaign data, such as people came to my site through organic search or through paid social. Um, and if I wanted to get more detail on this, add additional dimensions, break it down, segment it, I can open it in Explore. So I get there by going up to this edit comparisons icon in the upper right hand corner and clicking that. Now it's a little unintuitive why it lives in comparisons, I'm not sure. But down at the bottom, there's a button called Explore. And if we click it, this report will open up for us in Explorer. So now you can see I have my session default channel group, which was the dimension we were looking at in the reporting UI, as well as all of the metrics that we had applied there. And I can add additional dimensions, I can add additional metrics, I can break this down, I can segment it, and so forth. And the other thing to note is it actually opened three tabs, the other two of which are visualizations. So one visual for the bar chart that was included in the original report, and one visual for the line chart that was included in the original report. And similarly, you can interact with these reports as well. So a great little addition to be able to go deeper on any report that you already have in the reporting UI without having to build it from scratch in Explore. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you, I'm going to jump back over to reports, is that customizations now include report filters. So if I am back in, let's say, that landing page report, and I want to customize this report to make it only for organic traffic, in other words, an SEO landing pages report, I can click on this edit icon in the upper right hand corner called customize report to open up the report customization screen. And here we have this new area called report filter. If I click in here, I can add my criteria. In this case, I'm going to choose session default channel group is organic search and hit OK. Once I apply that, this report will now be filtered to only include data that comes from the session default channel group. I can now save this as a new report. If I chose save changes to current report, it would override the current landing page report, and I don't want to do that. So I'll save it as a new report, and I'm going to call this my SEO landing page and hit save. Now this report is available in the library. It's not yet in my left-hand nav in the reporting UI, but I can go down here to the library. I can go ahead and edit a collection, such as my lifecycle collection, and I can drag my new SEO landing pages report into the left-hand nav. So all I have to do is scroll down and find it, and I'm gonna put it right here, right below my landing page report, hit save, I'm going to save the changes to my current collection. And when we go back out, we will now see our SEO landing page report right here in the left hand nav. So there you go. There are three really cool updates that have come out in the past year. I hope you find these useful and start using them in Google Analytics 4 today.